Welcome to the AEW sessions. My name is Nav. I know you're wondering right now, eh? Last week, tall, good looking guy, pretty skinny. This week, fat Indian boy with long hair. Well, what can I say? The producers decided to uh, visit or rather consult a Feng Shui master and they said they needed someone big to fill up the room. And of course, they need someone super awesome like me. Lah. Not physically, but for some reasons, I have to give myself some compliment. Hey, welcome to the show. It's going to be an exciting one indeed. Uh, a couple of weeks back, uh, a couple of days, shows back, you had Asmil Yuno, you had Ray Chong. You had a couple of great, great, fantastic, fantastic performers performing live for you. As a matter of fact, on this show today, we have the badass from the east side oh yes these guys were dropping bombs lately they've been keep on they've been dropping it like it's super hot representing sarawak one of my favorite states or i shall say my ultimate state in malaysia the party capital of malaysia ladies and gentlemen it's none other than Gauk. Welcome to the show, guys. What's Gauk. Up? What's up? It's good. Gauk. How you doing? It's good, man. It's good. I have. God, let me let me let me start it off first before I introduce you guys. I just want to double check on the name Gao. Gao means fierce, right? Uh, is it is it or is it any other word? Because yeah, no. Um, it has multiple meanings. Okay. So in Sarawak, in which which places are you? Like Kuching, Cebu, Bitulos, or Miri? Mm -hmm. It's different. Okay. But like me, I grew up in Miri, so okay. Gao. In Miri is nakal, you know. Okay. Like uh, naughty. All naughty, right. Yeah, yeah. And then so in other parts? In other parts, like in Kuching, it means um, fierce. Exactly ah. what you mentioned. Yeah. yeah. So it's a combo. You got the fierce. You got the naughty. Any other any other meaning for that word? Uh, no. Nah, that's, that's it, it, it's it. actually a lingo, right? It's more it's, of a lingo. It's not just a lingo. It's actually a Sarawakian word. Oh, okay. It's actually a Sarawakian word. So yeah. if I if I were to put it in a sentence right now, how do I put that? In Sarawak or in uh, you want me to teach you a little bit, Sarawak? Yes, yes, please. Start it okay. off with that. Kita to. Kita to. Nang. Nang. Gao. Gao. Which means? It means you are very naughty. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, baby. Yes. Yeah. Well, that we know, bro. That we know. All right. You you heard the sounds of Ezreal. That's right. You have Ezreal. We have Young Ruff. And of course, we have Azri. Yeah, I know so. you're wondering right now. You're talking about hip-hop guys. They usually have this fancy, fancy hip-hop name. But it, there's a meaning behind each and all these names. Like, for example, Ezreal. Is this... I mean, it might sound like SOA is a cool, innocent boy's name, but if you check out the true meaning of it, it's the angel of death, right? The angel of death. So it's a dun, badass, dun, dun. man. This guy's a badass. Then you have Yurang Ruff, who looks pretty, pretty innocent and naive, quiet, but don't let the looks fool you, man. Don't let the looks <laughs> fool you. This guy can drop voices like it's hot. Thank and of you course, you have Azri, my yeah. man. So. Yeah. Oh, this guy is another guy. I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty excited right now. It's like I have this fanboy moment going on. Uh, you know, oh it's God, like I no. checked out the video. <laughs> like even before off air, we were just having a chat with them, and he was like, "Okay, I just maintain my coolness and all." But deep inside of me, it's like, "Oh boy, here we are. These guys are on." Man. Yo, thanks, man. But, I'll but autograph your. You, yes, you. see my nipples. Whatever <laughs> you want to do, it, please do it, man. Do it. But I, I'm a bit curious about Gao. Gao is not a, just a band, right? It's not. It's not just a group because it is. Like, like we mentioned that we were talking about it off air, the sense that you guys seem to be having your individual projects going on, that all of a sudden you come in like, like one of those Avengers thingy, you know, <laughs> you work out like an Avengers thingy and then you come up with another track. So just, just elaborate a little bit more on Gao for me. Avengers Assemble. Take it. Take it, take it, take it. Explain everything. So, um, it's because like, we don't want to like, um, like put a barrier between us, you okay. know, like, uh, oh, you can do this, you can do that. You know, it's like, even though we're a team, but uh, we each like, uh, we gave everyone their uh, respect to what they want to do and uh, what they want to pursue in, or maybe if they want to get signed to a label or anything, we're, we're not going to hold it back. Like, we're just going to support them and give them the same support that we've been given since day one. Yep. Okay, so that's that's how it works. But in terms of members, how many members actually are there in Gao altogether? So there's... Four of us in KL that's active. Okay. And there's two of us in Sarawak. But we're all uh, a whole family. So okay. Yeah, but shout out to the boys in Sarawak. Shout out to Mo X and AJ. Yep. They okay. they have some 
like badass um, songs that uh, are also up in uh, Gaok's uh, YouTube. Okay, so you guys so apart from the three of you, there's also Loka B and uh, Moax, and the other one is AJ. 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 So these all together in six. So this sounds like more like the uh, Wu Tang concept of it. Yeah, yeah. Like we've been called we've been called the Wu Tang of Yeah, the Wu Tang is yeah, like yeah, yeah. you have your individual projects going yeah, on. Exactly. And, and uh, well, let's let's get on to individually right now. Let's let's talk about individual as an in, uh, individual rapper. As for you, uh, Israel, how about how many tracks or what are the uh, musics that you have you been dropping lately? Uh, I've been dropping some hints of my upcoming EP. Okay. Um, probably be done by end of the year. Okay. But uh, there's two tracks that I've dropped in uh, on Gaok's YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. But my EP touches more on um, mental illness and like uh, mental issues and whatnot, depression, anxiety, and whatnot, stuff like uh, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, there's two songs out now: uh, "Bitch with Class" and uh, the other one is uh, "Chance." Okay. So I'm working on that. Um, at the same time, working on our future coming upcoming like group song like okay. as as a family. Um, but besides that, to me as a rapper, it's about storytelling. Yeah, very true. There are some rappers out there. They're really good at like they're really good at dissing people. They're really good at being cocky. Which like when you listen to it, it doesn't sound cocky. It's like oh shit, man! Yeah. Like this guy got a Rolls Royce, got Benz and stuff <laughs> like that. Like I'm driving a country in the back. Line. Exactly. <laughs> but even though he's cocky, but it's like oh, it's it's nice, it's yeah. nice. You know, I'm not I'm not like ringing him down or like that. But I'm the guy. I'm the type like I like like real stuff. Okay. Like basic like experiences. If it's not mine, it's someone else's. Well, that that is hip hop actually. That if is you, hip hop. If you go back to the roots of hip hop, it's all about what's happening in your surroundings. That's the exactly. main thing of hip hop. Exactly. And young Ruff, how about you in terms of anything new you've been dropped out? Um, I just dropped uh, my latest song is with uh, my homeboy Afik Not Nice. Okay. Um, so he not nice. <laughs> he not nice. <laughs> he not nice. Been mean. Yeah. So uh, other than that, uh, I've been dropping songs with um, Kwai, Dino from AMPG. Yeah. You know Apet G. Um, and you know for now I'm just trying to like um, prove myself and use all the time that I have um, to do it because um, I think like I've been waiting too long. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, so uh, I feel like I need to be hungry again. So <laughs> I thought you just ate. He <laughs> hungry. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm just. Uh, oh, and also, um, I'm trying to do like versati versatility. Okay. You know, into my music, like I'm trying to mix match this and that, and try to do something different. Uh, like try to be something that Malaysia has never seen before. Nice, you know? giving a new flavor. Yeah, yeah giving a new flavor. Like when they hear it, uh, they're gonna be like, "Oh, this is kind of like new." I want to ah. venture into his music more, you know. Okay. You got so, this, yeah. boy. You Give got them this. an option. And how about you, man? For me, for a couple months back, I've been busy because I'm still studying. Ah. So I just finished my diploma. So I, I haven't had time to make music. Stay in school, kids. Stay in school, <laughs> but I just okay. finished. So <laughs> I've been cooking a bit. So I have a few songs that I haven't released yet. Cool. Well, the reason why I'm asking you guys individually is because uh, based on the tracks that I've heard on all your music, you sound like you are the... Uh, because when it comes to hip hop, there's always different types of styles of doing it. Some, of course, you talk about the commercial side of it, and some of them you're going on the mumble trap and so on. But in terms of uh, Gao, okay, Gao, or maybe individually, you have that purest sound, the hip hop purest sound, which is not really heard much. Mm. They are, they are. I won't deny the fact there's a lot of hip hop purists out there, but yeah. in Malaysia, there's there's a hands full of them. And having individual feel or taste of idea or concept on your individu individual tracks, how do you work it out in as a, as a unit, as Gao itself? How, how does that happen, man? Are you, so, do, you, do you have the same wavelength in terms of when you drop your rhymes no, and so no, on? No, not at all. No. Not at all. All of us, we have different flows, different yeah. rhythm, different style of writing, but we learn from each other. Okay. So I would True. say in the group, Yang Paling Otai, that's been writing the longest is actually the youngest. Oh. <laughs> he's the youngest. He just finished SPM last year, but he's—I think he's been writing the longer, longer, longer than us. Ladies, he's on the legal age. Okay. Yeah, legal age. Now you can touch him. Barely yeah, legal. But, but, yeah, <laughs> Barely know, legal. A few, a few, a few club shows last year. They didn't know. Ah. They didn't know. <laughs> yeah, but like for example, like this. Uh, this is one of the first video we posted up on on Gal. This is a cipher, and uh, this was to portray each of us as individuals on how we write how we rap, how we uh, look for our flows, our sound, and whatnot. And uh, it's not even up, like, uh, even up until today, you can never, like, e find your right sound yet. Yeah. You need a lot of, like, cooking time. That's true. Like, when you cook, you you build it amasa. So, it's still boiling. Okay. So, that's why, like, Arif, he's still experimenting and he's trying to find a sound that he wants. 
but how we work together is always like okay for example if we write one song okay uh, I'll have the beat or any of us have the beat usually I'll work on the chorus I'll work on the chorus and I say guys okay this is the story this is what we're gonna write about this give me your best bars okay so they write blah 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 then they send it over I was like, okay, uh, maybe change this, change this a little bit. Just not much, just a little bit. Not to the point that it changes the whole perspective. Okay, like just, perspective. Find, just tweaking it. Just a tweaking bit. a little bit, especially okay. like uh, like my brother okay. and him, because they're a bit younger. So me and Loka are like the big brother and big sister in the family. So Loka's writing also is, is, is superb. Flo Loka Gila Babi. Yes, I <laughs> That's her tagline. Flo Loka Gila Babi. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but we learn a lot from them. Uh, learn to experiment. Okay. Yeah, like some people... They write, oh, I want to write like Eminem. So they study Eminem, Eminem, Eminem. It turns, after that, you become another Eminem. So you don't have your, your self-identity. Yeah. yeah. So it's, look, yep. it's, look, it's looking for, for that. But and in terms of beat making and music, of course, when you talk about having your individual styles of uh, rapping or writing and so on, beat making is also an important thing. So do you all make your own beats or do you get somebody to produce or create beats for you guys? Because you got to have that, that one sound when you come in as a unit. So how does that work for you all? Yeah, to any one of you guys. Yeah, yeah there's a problem with the three of us. Uh, so, it's, it depends on the project. Yep. If it's an individual project, mm -hmm. I don't stop you guys for whatever beat that you want. That's It's, just, it's like, it's just why. Okay. I like ngam for you. But as a group, if we're working on an EP, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that it sounds the same. So that means beat making, same person. Mixing, same person. Mastering, same person. Only then you can get the whole EP at the same sound. Okay. Yeah, but uh, individual projects for us, uh, we are blessed enough to mostly get our stuff, uh, producers coming up to us. Yeah. Like for instance, for Siap Ah, it was uh, my Mike Rekka. Rekka. Yeah, shout out to shout Mike Rekka. To Mike. Mike Rekka was the one like, hey, yo, like, yeah, uh, I like your style. Like, you guys are very like Wu-Tang kind of vibe. I have this beat. I have like a couple of beats. Come to my studio, listen up. So the, the four of us, we came, we listened. It was like, okay, this is the one. It's when all four of us are knocking our head. Okay. So okay, yeah, we're smiling at each shit. other. It's like okay, okay. <laughs> okay, that's and then the usually, shit. Usually, usually like that. Bomb. Usually like that. Like that same spot. Suddenly, I'll just come up with 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 some with some uh, rhythm, with some flow melody for the chorus. And yeah. it's like okay, this is it. This is it. Nice man, nice. That's, that's something I'm looking forward to. Because the the thing is this. Like I said earlier, getting working as a unit is not exactly an easy thing. It's always there's always issues and what happens behind the scene, dissatisfaction. And it come, when it comes, we talk about Gao, uh, like you said earlier, it's not only four of you guys, it's altogether six of you guys. Yes. But when you come up with tracks, let's say when you come up with tracks, like we were talking earlier, you, some of the tracks that you have actually is only about four of you all, and some of it is six. So how do you decide on that part? Who comes in, how do you, I mean, isn't it like the rest of the members, don't they feel a little unfair when they're not being featured in that particular track? Does that ever happen to you guys? Uh, actually, no. I don't think that there's ever happened this before. before. Yeah. I mean, like, um, because all of us are like flexible with it, with it, you know. So like, we just like, uh, okay. So you want this four percent in the track? Okay. And we are all okay with it, you know. What I mean? So like, no uh, problem yeah, we have no yeah. problem with it at, at all. Okay. <laughs> and the, he, here's a video. This is for uh, Siap Ah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, Siap Ah has some. I don't know, I wouldn't want to say anger issues, but you're actually just throwing it out, out there. So, and you have some of the words that's, you know, I know it's it's definitely hitting somebody. Okay, I'm yeah, not going to yeah. ask you who, <laughs> I'm not going to ask you who, yeah, yeah. because it sounds like a little diss track over there. So just let, let's talk about CFR right now. Okay, what was this all about? What was this song all about? Uh, okay, so this is the track uh, that uh, Mike Recker produced for us. Um, uh, initially, this track he did not have a vision of a singing chorus. Okay. He had a vision of a rapping chorus, but uh, for like me, I have a singing background, like a little bit of singing background. Why not? So I sang on the uh, chorus. Uh, it became like to the point where we do shows, like everyone is singing to it and whatnot. But the the story behind this is that you see that person with the glasses. Yeah, it's the same glasses actually. <laughs> right now Pinjama Yeah, Pinjama, Pinjama. Okay, so <laughs> he, he is actually uh, A figure Okay So he's not a person He's a figure He is like what we call In this world uh, In this in this 
is era hater. Okay. Uh, so a lot of us like we we deal with haters. Yeah. So this guy is uh, a symbol of haters. So the song is for all the haters out there. Okay, okay, that explains it all. Because I was I was trying to figure it out who exactly are you talking about? Another hip hop band or this? But it's actually okay. I, okay, okay, you rap, you rap. Yeah. You rap. Mm. If kalau siapa makan chili, dia rasa spicy. Yeah, yeah. Dia rasa yeah. spicy yeah. lah, yeah. yeah. yeah, that's how it works down here. And of course, uh, you had a couple of other tracks that's going on and on. But my another question for me is, I'm always curious. I'm all, I'm a huge Huge fan of the uh, uh, scene that happens on the east side, especially Borneo and Sarawak. It's a happening scene. There's a whole lot of amazing talents down there. But the question is, like, as as an artist, as in a group, how does it feel like? I mean, every time the the circuit is always focused on everything's happening in the Klang Valley. So how's the scene in Sarawak? Is it growing? I mean, is it like how do you how do you help that out? How do how do you see it in comparison wise? For me, the scene in uh, hip hop scene in Kuching uh-huh. is pretty big, but it's not really well known. Okay. But underground wise in Kuching, mostly everyone knows Kuching Connection. Yeah. Their hits are top notch. <laughs> yeah, you have amazing guys, man. And uh, are you guys doing any shows? I mean, uh, do you all do frequent shows in Sarawak? In not really. As in oppos- uh, opposed to KL? I mean, if uh, if if we have budget. Mm-hmm. If or if they have budget, we will fly. Okay. True. I mean, like we uh, our first show, our first show when Gao was established, was uh, me and Azri. Yeah, we flew we to Kuching. That was our first show. Okay. And uh, it's like, tolak tarik, bro. Uh, you give and take. Okay. So like it was a free show. Uh, we had to pay for our own flights, but they covered our food, they covered accommodations, yeah. and it was like a five star hotel, right? Yep. Nice. Yeah, so at least it was like okay lah. We get to go and have fun, meet the Kuching guys, meet the Kuching rappers uh, in the scene and whatnot. But what I like the most about Kuching scene, we're talking about specifically about Kuching right now. Okay. Uh, like yeah, these guys. This was this was our first was, show. Yeah, we came and we had time to uh, cook up a little gout wreck. It's a cipher edition. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so but what I like about it is that it's not just rappers like. Yeah, yeah, dancers. yeah, it's it, not. It's rapper. always like when it comes to the events as such. It's always like there's hip hoppers, there's DJs, and yeah. beat makers, and of course the rappers, right? Is that one of it? Yeah, yeah. But like here, we 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 can't really see it all combined together. Like when we go shows here, it's usually okay. We find uh, we 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 meet rappers, we meet uh, beat makers, producers. Okay. But in Kuchin, when we were there, there were street artists, there were b boys, there were rappers, there were skaters. And then uh, you know because like elements of hip hop, the elements of hip hop is uh, can you tell me the elements of hip hop? Do you know the elements of hip hop? It's elements of hip hop is one, I think rap, rap, uh, wait, wait, hold on, rhythm and poetry. All right, for the benefit of our viewers and future hip hoppers, take a close <laughs> listen to this. This is like the Ten Commandments of hip hop, you know. So pay take attention. Note, take note. Hey, should you take it away, man? So number one is rap, which yeah. is rhythm and poetry. Yes. Okay. Second, Second is um, b boy. B boying, dancing. Okay. Third one is uh, graffiti. Graffiti. All right. Fourth. Fourth is I think DJ. Is it? D- uh, DJ. You better get it right. Or else no yeah, DJ. Right. <laughs> DJ. With the f- <laughs> with the fifth and final one, which like tak ramai orang tahu, is actually knowledge. Yes. It's knowledge. Knowledge yeah. is key. Like without knowledge, you don't know what you're doing. You know, knowledge is key. You you learn. That's true. You keep on learning until you die. You're still learning something. Yeah, new. you need you need because it also helps, right? It also helps when it comes to hip hop. You're writing your songs. Yep. You need knowledge because yep. there's only so much of diss tracks you can do, or so much of bragging of whatever hip hop culture you yeah. have. You really need to do it out. That that's the reason why I was about to ask you this. You you mentioned earlier. You talk about the scenario that's happening around, right? Whatever stuff. So elaborate a little bit more on your track that you had, your single, your reason uh, single. What was that all about? Uh, let's talk about "Bitch with Class." Yes. Uh, so, "Bitch with Class" was written by me and a and a close friend of mine. Uh, name disclosed, but uh, it's actually a poem that she wrote. Okay. That she wrote, and she's like, "Hey, you rapper, kan? Yeah, hey, I did watch a two poem ni. Can can you show it to me?" And I was like, "Can I can I show it to you?" So I saw it, and I was like, "Yo, like, where did this come from?" And it's actually her experience. You know, it's based on her experience. And when I read it, it was like. 
Okay, this is really this is really something right here. Okay. And I asked permission from like, yeah, okay, I'll I'll come over. We'll talk about it. Let's let's make it to us into a song. Okay. okay, so we talk we spoke about it not and she shared a lot of her experience with me. Like every single line from Bitch with Class is 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 real. It's all real. It's as real. Okay. Get it? Nice. Nice wordplay there. Yeah, like but I, see, I, I like how you brought <laughs> it in. Okay. Yeah, but that song is uh is 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 real. Okay. It's everything that I that we wrote, everything that I made it's all real and uh reason why i left out with her and get to know her better is because i wanted to record it with full emotion being in her shoes okay you know like there's a line in the in the in there when a doctor's penetrating you and you can feel it okay it's a uh, abortion so it's something that she she went through. she went through an abusive father not physically but mentally okay that's also with real and the brothers is never sober which is also something that you know she shared with me and whatnot. Okay, that's that's pretty deep, man. Because I, I mean, it's like seriously speaking, it's like you know, whenever it comes to hip hop, you hardly hear deep stuff like that on the mainstream tracks. But this uh, one, is especially in Malaysia, yeah, it's like no, because here after gonna ban radio, tak bagi yeah, no true, airplay, true, <laughs> yeah. no airplay, no airplay. But that that's what that happens. As young Ruff, how about you? Do you do you actually look at that when you make your songs? Um, your, your latest stuff. That for my good. latest stuff, uh, like I said, I try to mix and match too. Um, for my latest so- stuff, like um, I'm gonna talk about uh, a song called "Small Circle." Okay. You know, uh, and uh, I try to mix and match with like what I felt and what I went through or anything like just real things and mix and match it with like um, what I'm gonna do about the future. You know, okay. it's like um, not just talk about the past but also talk about the future. Or the present, you know. So like, um, for the song "Small Circle," it's kind of like, kind of like a bragging song. You okay. know, but it, uh, it's like, uh, don't come in my circle. You know, like my circle is tight, my circle is small. Okay. Like, uh, ain't nobody out, ain't nobody in. So that's it's a, it's actually song. basically a storytelling. Yeah, it's, yeah, uh, it's like a storytelling, but like um, the way that um, like a lot of um, overseas rappers do it, like black, okay. and then like. Um, you know, a lot of Machine Gun Kelly even does it. Yeah. Even his in his song, like uh, use that storytelling part, but use it in a trap beat. Okay. You know? Yeah. Nice so, man. And yes. how about you, Zui? For me, like <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Pretty much mine is for my age now. Yeah. I'm trying to find love. That's so really. most of my songs. Wait, are people right. my age won't find love, <laughs> is it? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> already found love. I'm at the age <laughs> where you know, people fall in love. Okay. okay. Today we got three I'm brothers from KYS. Legal age, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Age. Legal age, right? The now. heat is on. Like. Yeah, yeah you, so see, you see, you see. If you pay close attention to this entire conversation, they've been plugging it in. Their age, their legal. So, ladies, you know, <laughs> single available. That one, you have to DM them to find out. <laughs> so, true. so back to USB. Your, your songs. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so mine is most, most Jiwang. Jiwang, Jiwang, no. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Okay, let's take a moment to uh, uh, take a look at the Facebook chats. There's the uh, comments. Do we have anything going on? Ken Leong, hey, what's up, man? Show is getting better and better. Of course, you have me, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Ken. <laughs> okay, oh, sorry, you guys too? I uh, forgot about that. Yes, when you see, when you don't get paid, you say nice things about yourself. Uh. Okay, then the hi, Jessica Lee. Toge Master, Toge Master T. You're with Toge Master, What's right? up? Okay, cool, man. Anything else? Nisha, love, love, love. Yes, I love you. You do, babe. <laughs> and, uh, plug in, like my wife. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> no, just kidding, man. Just kidding. Uh, that's, if you have any questions or you would like to throw it to the guys down here, feel free to do it, right? Not boom, only boom. questions, you want to throw anything else, go ahead. Panties, bra, we accept all men. It's <laughs> not fair for us. All right, but the thing is, there's another thing about the unique sti- uh, side about having uh, hip hop bands or rather groups that's coming from the east side, which is Rawa is infusing the native language in the songs itself. It doesn't matter if it's an English track, if it's a a Malay track, a Chinese track, or whatever track, but you do have your native language over there. So adding it on onto the track makes it a little more exotic. Like, you know, when you talk about like some of the Latino raps, you know, the Filipino raps, you know, you have all that. And when they add on that that words from the native tongue, it gives it the extra spice. Do you guys do that for your tracks? Yeah, yeah, we did it. Uh, we did it for Siapa. Okay. Um, there's a part of it. Uh, it's a chanting part actually. Okay. So it was an I- it, uh, the idea when we w- when we were recording with uh, Mike Recker. Mm-hmm. Uh, initially, how we wrote the uh, the song was a little bit different from what it is now. Okay. Because Mike was like, "Yo, um, it's a little bit too flat. We need the one part 
uh, that stands out. Yeah. And uh, so we just discussed, discussed. So I was like, okay, like how about we do this? And how about we do like a chant? And the reason why we did that was like agi idu, agi ngalaban, agi idu, agi ngalaban. So that's an Iban phrase, which means uh, selagi aku hidup, selagi tu aku kebelawan. Okay. Yeah. It's a it's a phrase by Rentap. Rentap is one of the uh, um, pahlawan. Pahlawan, one of the warriors in in Sarawak. Okay. So it's a it's a very common phrase that even people hear. It's in the history books. Buku sejarah tingkatan tiga. Yeah, I do. So Sorry, bang. I, I, my <laughs> sejarah. It's quite a long yeah, time ago. Yeah. Sejarah, I got super points. My teacher chased me out of uh. class. So, <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah, uh, it was just an idea. So we put it there, and then Mike Rekker told us like, "Yo, this is really nice. Can you guys record more of this, of that part? I want to make it do like a chant." Okay. Yeah. And bro, it came to the point that we did a show in Bukit Jalil. Uh, I think it was like what three thousand, four thousand, five hundred thousand people. Nice. There was a lot of people. Uh, and when we were singing that part, the whole crowd was chanting. Awesome, oh my god! It's just like, yo, like we from Sarawak, but we are here and people are chanting our nice. native language. Yeah. yeah, nice man. But okay, the thing is this. Uh, pardon my ignorance. It's like when it comes to Sarawak, when they talk about tribes, there's, there's so many of them, right? So w- which category do you all fall under? Uh. We are Melanaus, like me and Azri, uh, not Arif, but yeah. we, uh, both of us are Melanaus. Okay. So Melanaus uh, is a different tribe, but it's a it's a it's a Malay mixed tribe. Okay. That means Melanaus are born Muslims, okay. like Malays. Okay. So Melanau is uh, it's pretty vast, like in 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 Miri. Okay. There's, it's pre- it's common for you to be like, hey, I'm from Miri, and they'll ask, are you Melanau? I see, I see. I see. Uh, so it's pretty. So cool. that's a pretty common that, thing. So. The language is also infused in the song Melanau. Oh no, no, no. Melana. Okay, so Sarawak language itself is a different language. Yeah, because until today, I am forty. I don't, know, I don't want to mention my age. <laughs> okay, I'm somewhere on that age. But the thing is this. Okay, and uh, it's always confusing for me when it comes to the language. There's so many of it, and you, know, you break down from the tribes into the language. There's always sub sub languages, and yeah, it goes on true. to more of that. Yeah. So yeah. that's where I'm a bit confused right now. So what what was the words? That you mentioned earlier in Siapa, what language was that? Oh, Agi Ido Bunglaban is an Iban word. Ah, okay, okay. So okay. Iban word is the di- Iban Iban language is different. Okay. Sarawak Malay is different. Mm-hmm. Melanau is different. Okay. So it's it's like. Pening. Pening. Kita kau from Sarawak. Let's listen. We're trying to decipher the whole thing. All right, let's head on to the uh, chat box and uh, this. Uh, sorry. Kent, how to improve pronunciation when singing? Uh, okay, where was it? Can you scroll down again? Scroll up again? Okay, how do you pronounce? Uh, sorry, how do you improve pronunciation when singing? In case, uh, in your case, rapping. Uh, I mean, of course, when it comes to rapping, you need to have good diction. Yes, yeah, sure. A great vocabulary. Yep. Okay, you got to have a huge thesaurus in your head, and uh, <laughs> so. But of course, pronouncing it, you have to be. Perfect. Pronoun- getting the syllables right. So how right. does that help? How do you guys do that? So like, um, I'm gonna give the most cliche answer ever. Mm-hmm. Practice, because that's what it is. Like you gotta practice. Like practice uh, for me, makes perfect. Yeah, I mean, like for me, what I do is, uh, I try to rap to other people's song, like, um, uh, especially obviously artists, you know, because the pronunciation of English is, <laughs> like, uh, oh, okay. English, not, yeah. You know. So yeah. So I try to rap uh, their songs and try to remember like uh, because me uh, for me it's easy for me to re- remember with lyrics you know okay I can only take like a few se- a few minutes just to remember like what a verse or anything so which which goes back to when he was studying for SPM I told him how about you write about history <laughs> okay and you remember and he actually did it nice he wrote a verse on history hafal. My nice. so you bring in education into hip hop. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Black knowledge. Black knowledge. <laughs> knowledge. All right, here's another one. Now, which local musician or rapper would you like to collaborate with in the near future? Okay, there's gonna As be really? a long list I know down here, but if you one would, of each. Yeah, one of each. Okay, I'll give you the top three guys. Each of you pick your top three top people three. that you like to work with. Uh top three musicians, rapper or rapper. Yeah. Uh okay, no random order, it's Okay. Uh no hujan. Okay. Just be not not just because he's from Miria as well, but uh, I look up to him. Okay. Uh, no hujan. Um, Aman Ra. Aman Ra, and uh, the third would be Bihart. Okay. Bihart is uh he's also a an, he was an underground uh, rapper, but he's like his music is really booming right now. Okay. And I love his writing. I love his his uh, flow, his melody. He's like he's just like. Crazy good man. Oh, you man. guys should you guys should listen to it. Be, be heart. heart. 
He sounds like the name sounds a bit softy, but no, man. Uh, once you the, listen to him, I I I, bars, I, yeah. I forgot the whole perception of don't really judge rappers by their look. Oh yeah, it doesn't work that way. Just like how I, and I saw you guys when I came to the studio. But <laughs> anyway, you guys are awesome. It looks and the songs <laughs> are different. How about you, Ryan, Young Ruff? Um, so for me, uh, in no particular order, um, Airleaf. Okay. And then um, I think Sona One, of course. I mean, like uh, that's gonna be a few years from now. That's a nice guy to work with. But yeah, I gotta manifest it, man. So <laughs> 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 uh, number three, you said local, right? Yes. So uh, I think number three is. Let me think about it. <laughs> I think uh, I think I wanna collab with Kwai. Because uh, the other song that I did with was with um, another like um, two people, okay. so I, I want to do like one on one with him, you know, like just me and him in a track. Mm. Okay. So yeah, that's my three. Arif, three. how about you? So mine's probably in no particular order as well. Um, shout out to Al's Chronicles. Okay. Um, one from Sarawak, Gucci Mid. Okay. He's a very talented person for nice. sure. And Shawa represent. Yeah, Shawa represent. <laughs> and another one is probably KK from Sawa. Yeah. No, but the funny thing is this: all guys, no plans of doing it with a lady. <laughs> Come on, you you got some hot names. We in do the other scene. things. Like you have ladies. Loka B. I mean, female rappers are just coming out out of that. So it's like for you, female rappers, you look up to. I mean, are you you really are uh, fascinated with right now? Oh, apart oh, from first, Loka. Okay, Loka. Uh, okay, let's Loka. Loka apart is, from Loka, okay? Loka is, Zamira, you can say Loka Zamira, because yeah. she's, it's unfair. Okay. She's yeah. awesome. Okay, she's fantastic. She she listen to her tracks. Listen to her verses. You know what I'm talking about. You got to check it out for yourselves. So other than that, who do you have in mind? Zamira, of course. Okay, Zamira is one yeah, of it. Man, when I saw uh, when I first saw that Heli Kelly. Song, you know, I was Kelly, like, Kelly, whoa, Kelly, 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 Kelly. <laughs> that's like hella dope, man. No, oh, okay, yeah. that's absolutely cool. All right, uh, one thing that we all face, everybody in the industry right now, is because things got pretty fucked up because of uh, <laughs> the uh, so called MCO, nobody can yeah. do geeks yeah. and so yeah, on. But yeah, yeah. were Hopefully. there any plans for you guys, or maybe like album? Since the best part is this. I mean, as much as it's bad that MCU can't do geeks and so on, there's always time to make albums yeah. and things like that. Have you all planned anything up for this year? Uh, we 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 do we do we have plans for this year. What's in mind? Um, the only problem with the MCO was that we were in different areas. Okay. So we tried to do it over the phone as much as we can. Mm -hmm. So, but progress was a little bit slow due to that, uh, because it was like we had a bundle of beats sent to us by producers. Okay. So it was up to us to pick a few uh, that we like to be on the track. But it was a bit hard to do it when you're not together. You okay. know, because like. Like how we did Siap Ah, uh, you know, we 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 sat down, we listened to the beat, and yeah. to the point where all four of us were knocking our heads, and we were looking at each other. It was like, okay, this is the one. Okay. So we we're, we're still at that stage of choosing the right uh vibe, the right music, but we know what we have planned. We know what we have planned uh for this year. But uh, the song that we're gonna perform later is uh will be the next, single. The next single as uh as a as a group. Four okay. of us, or as a as a family, it's it's gonna be uh, like single. So that will be out. We don't know when yet. It's uh when we can shoot the music video and whatnot. But uh, yeah, you guys are considered lucky to yeah. hear this today. <laughs> it's like this yes. is unreleased. Yeah, on it. Yeah. Yes, it's the blessing from above. Blessing Ladies and gentlemen, above. you got a new show and you got the first time to listen to this. Uh, new host for the show, sorry, not the new show. And <laughs> then you get to listen to the song secondary like this. Huh? But anyway, the, the the cool part about you guys is like uh. During your performances, I'm just puzzled because I ha I was not I didn't have the privilege to check y'all perform live, which we're gonna do it tonight. Do you have a different persona? Because some rappers, like you know, off air, I mean behind the scenes when they make the music and so on, you're bit, like relax and so on. But you all transform to something else the moment you hit the stage. Are you the kind of guys, or is this this is what you get on when you go on stage? The energy you're talking about, the energy. Do you have a different persona when you hit the stage? The energy is definitely different, man. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Like, I just think hyped. like we 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 way more like hundred percent or two hundred percent more energetic on the stage. Okay, you that's know? real. And that's especially real. if like the crowd is working with us, you know what I mean? Like, um, they're also like um, cheering as it's well. It's like give and take, you know. Yeah. But the thing is this, there's always a reason, apart from the crowd, when you go up to get that energy, there must be some formula, some secret as a group to go on. Oh. So what is that that's, particular secret which that's I usually know? Uh, that's usually our intro. 
Oh, how okay. how how we start the intro? How because the crowds they want to see how you interact. Okay. Maybe I don't know about the the, the crowds, but we, if I was a crowd, I want to see how much interaction they do with the crowd. Okay. So it's mostly like you know like how you do your intro, how you say hi, how you bagi your salam, yeah. you know how you introduce yourself, how you yeah. connect with the crowd. So that's something that uh, that usually I do when we jump on the stage. Okay. Yeah, but uh, with their help as well. And how you walk around the stage, interacting with the yeah. people in the language. crowd. Body language. Yeah. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Nothing nasty. <laughs> not, not that nasty body language. No, actually, I was expecting Langkaw, Tua, Tiger. That was the inspiration. <laughs> but we, we try like, to keep <laughs> it clean. We try to keep it 18, <laughs> bro. Uh, <laughs> You're barely legal. Yes, yes, we all know. Okay, here's here's a particular video. Is it? Uh, could you just elaborate a bit of this part? Ah, uh, that's uh, me and Azri. Okay. Uh, we were. Fortunate enough to be invited to 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 do a cover of this song to Jonas say hi, with uh, Farisha. Farisha, she's a she's a well-known singer. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's, she's a local singer. She's a local singer, which is who who is really booming. So this is a song. This song originally was by Kimi Kimo, by Sitino Haliza and uh, Lucas Sikta. Luca it's a really dope song. It's a uh, and also like we I'm quite choosy when it comes to projects. Okay. So it depends on the songs. So we were invited to 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 collaborate on this cover, and because like this song is very educational, okay. you know the song itself to join Nasihat, you know. So, uh, so we we went on it, and uh, yeah, I mean it boosted it boosted us up a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you, you said you're very choosy in uh, collaborating and all this kind of stuff. What what are the things that you like say makes you agree on a collaboration, and what you don't like or you don't like to look forward at? What are the things? Yes. Yes, I would collaborate. No, I would not collaborate. So, what are the elements for that? The way they write. Really? The way they write. I look at that now. No matter how famous you are, mm-hmm. if you if you are a mumble rapper or your writing sucks, okay, I probably I don't want to collab with you. Okay. I don't care if you have like five million, ten million followers, but if your writing is whack, like mm-hmm. I don't think it's suitable for me. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Uh, for me, it depends. Like. If I can really vibe to the like the demo that they sent me, mm-hmm. you know, like um, it's like when you hear it the first time, then you're gonna be like, "Damn!" Oh, I'm gonna listen to it again, and yeah. and then from there you're gonna be like, uh, you're like kind of like making rhymes in your head okay. to how you're gonna sound on the song, you know. So yeah, I think um, that's for me. Like uh, if I vibe to the song to the demo that you sent me, then it's on, man. What's what's yeah. the big no-no for you? A big no-no for me, I think, is when people want to do a collab with me. Okay. And then um, they said uh, they're going to send a demo. And then but they never do. <laughs> yeah, 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 they never do. Same. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you heard? Um, quality over quantity. Ah, Yeah. nice. So, but the thing is this. Uh, okay, before we, we're running out of time. Yeah? Just before that, my final question to you guys is uh, the industry right now, like it's always divided into two things. One is the mainstream guys, right? One mm-hmm. is the mainstream, and the other one, like I said, the purist and the underground scene yeah. and so on, which doesn't really get much of that uh, attention. popularity, no. attention, but you have the quality over there. True. So what's your take on that part? It's like, if you would put yourself, which side do you fall under? Do you have the both sides or just pick one? Um, gonna answer one by one. Are you guys, by any, in any point of time, are you gonna go, gonna have something mainstream going on for you guys? Um. We, I mean, like it's 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 something. It depends on what was your initial uh, plan okay. or initial niat, like your your nawaitu. Like, you venture into this music scene, why? Okay. Do you venture into this scene because you want to be famous? Uh-huh. You want to have a lot of followers. You want to be. You want to walk everywhere and be like, oh, I know you, I know you. Is that what you want, or is it you want to share your music? You want to share your story. You want it to be to be out there. So for me, like. I, I, w- I, d- I wanted to do this because I wanted to express and I want to share things. Okay. Okay. But in the future, if one of my songs get hits and like people call me for more, sh- more like mainstream shows and whatnot, I'll go for it. But it's not what I'm looking for. It's not what I'm chasing for. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys share the same thoughts? Yeah, pretty much. Really? Cool. All right. Yeah. All right. The guys are going to go on for some live performances for you right here at AEW Sessions. But right before that, before I just leave this, guys, uh, please do check them out. They have the YouTube channel. The most important thing is check out their YouTube channel, which is Gao Records. Records. Okay. That's G-A-O-K. 
and records. I think you all know how to spell that, lah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the most important thing is when you go to this particular page, hit subscribe. That's all true. right. Subscribe is absolutely important. Hit subscribe. And if you want to follow them, are you guys on social media together as Gao, or do you all have individual? Uh, we have all individual together. Yeah. Like we have, uh, no, we have Gao's uh, account. account as well. Okay. So it's uh, G A O K dot E N T Entertainment. Okay. It's Gao Entertainment. Uh, and we have individual account uh, as well. From mine, it's uh, one Azrael, W A N dot A Z R I E L. Okay, that's for Instagram, right? That's my personal Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and for you, Ryan? My yeah. Instagram, uh, I changed the name a lot, but <laughs> the reason that's right. You can never find it. Wait, th there's only two reasons why people change the Instagram account. One, somebody's pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> or two, <laughs> who's pregnant? Why you like your profile picture? Really so which you. one is? It? <laughs> uh, that's P and C. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, but uh, my latest uh, Instagram account is. CTB goes okay, you know, uh, so uh, CTB, uh, and you know how to spell goes, of course. Yes, I so think yeah. so. Hi. Okay, <laughs> mine is my name, it's one dot azri w a n dot a z r y. Awesome, and there you have it. So, once again, guys, thank you so much. Like I said earlier, a fanboy moment for me having a chat with you guys, <laughs> it was you, awesome. Love your stuff, and if you haven't checked them out, check out their ciphers, man. Dope shit, man. It's Thank dope you. stuff down there. You got to check it out. Go, 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 go. Uh, too bad Loka B is not here. So my love yeah. and uh, respect to you, Loka. All right. And uh, coming up next is their live performances right here. So stick around. Remember, if you have any questions, you can always follow them on social media. Or you can drop it right here at AEW Sessions and we'll ask them after the show. All right. So take it away, guys. It's all yours. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. My check. Let's go. One two. Check mic one two. Mic check. How y'all doing? Let's go. Let's get it. Ah. Uh. okay. 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 But I stand up here, I stand up, I go terus go. I get up here, I get up there, the muscles slow. Put my head together for my fam and for the show. But what to call it doing? Y'all be asking me for more. Oh. For the eight time. Get in line, get mine. Ini semua titik darah peluh. Just get it, boy. Tiada lagi masa nak mengeluh. 
G-A-O-K. That's how we say, that's how we slay. Right. Well, this is the part that I didn't know that I was supposed to come in at the end of the day. Uh, you know, you know, this is a really bad idea for me to stand right now. Uh, okay, sit. I look small. Do I look small enough? Good. Okay, maybe in the next future, next episodes, we have more uh, equipment to make me look pretty slim, or else I just got to head on to the gym right now. So there you have it. These are the guys that uh, you have just checked out. They are Gao, and uh, they have loads of great things happening out there. Be on the lookout. Check them out on Facebook, uh, social media, Instagram, and also don't forget to uh, check them out on uh, YouTube. And remember, we've got another one more session coming up in a bit from now, which is going to be with Mio. That's right. That's happening in a very, sh uh, very soon. Just be on the lookout for that. If you have logged on to AEW Sessions, the most important thing you got to do is, one, hit the like button. That's right. Like the page. And secondly, the most important thing of all, Share it. Sharing is caring. That's the whole idea. So please do that. Share it with your friends. Spread the word. And if you are not a Facebook person, but you're an Instagram person, you can also follow us on Instagram, AEW Sessions. Check it out. So coming up very shortly, we have the live sessions with the Mio. And uh, once again, thank you very much, guys. Welcome. It's oh, awesome God having bless. you on board. We'll look forward for more future yeah. geeks. God and bless, uh, be on the lookout for that, right? Thank you. So this is Nav signing out for the moment. And we'll see you for the next session. Coming up next. Di bawah saya tunjuk hormat, taat Jangan sampai esok hilang jasad Kau berkes baru mula maju sini Sila-sila kalau berani mari datang Mari datang cuba-cuba Kau fikir kau siapa Kau siapa Kau berani mari cuba Fikir kau siapa? Kalau berani mari cuba. Jangan takut nanti luka. Datang kami punya gila.